Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Hero of the Storm. Uh, this is going to be a small little tutorial, basically, about the class of ETC. Now, he's a melee warrior, and as you can see right now in the beta technical, or the alpha technical, I should say, uh, they've given us a few new classes to play. You have uh, Sonya, you have Athur, uh, you also have Nova, Lily, and uh, then you got ETC. Now, this is the first one that we're going to do uh, this week, and I'll go through and show you the different skins that you can have. Uh, and again, they said that there's new skins coming, so uh, I'll do an update for the new skins that they have. Again, if you don't like these, uh, or if you find one that you like, but you don't necessarily like the color, it's kind of a nice little cowboy thing, you can always change the variations of the color uh, theme for that skin once you acquire it. Uh, mounts seem to be pretty much the same. Again, you can use pretty much any mount that you acquire on any of your classes that allow you to use mounts. Some of them have the flying ability. Uh, some of them have wings. Uh, some of them even turn into creatures such as wolves or such not or so whatnot. Uh, so you can't use your mounts on those, unfortunately. Now, every class has uh, four abilities that you get, and uh, this one happens to be a melee warrior, and the difficulty is medium. Uh, the difficulty I haven't really seen uh, mean too much to me. I've seen the difficulty uh, as hard or very hard, and those classes are actually sometimes easier to play than the easy class. So I'm not quite sure what that is supposed to mean, or if maybe it's uh, going to be changed later on to be a lot harder than it actually is right now. Now you have Power Slide. Dash to an area, stunning and damaging enemy hit. Uh, face Melt. Knockback stun and damage enemies, nearby enemies. Uh, guitar solo, regenerate health. And Rockstar, after using an ability, ETC and nearby allies temporarily gain attack speed. Now the guitar solo from experience I've seen uh, comes back rather quickly. It's uh, a pretty cool spell that you can kind of use to heal yourself. Although you take hits rather hard even though you're supposed to be a melee warrior. So uh, maybe as he levels up or gets some uh, uh, talents unlocked, uh, things will be a little bit easier. Now, heroic abilities, as always, unlock at level 10. Uh, you can only pick one of the two uh, to put a point into. And uh, when you first start the character, you're only going to be able to pick the top one. Uh, the bottom one will unlock as you progress through the character's levels. So, uh, Mosh Pit stuns nearby enemies, forcing them to dance. Uh, it's kind of weird, but it should be kind of cool to look at. Uh, stage Dive. Global Leap that slows and damages nearby enemies. Or damages enemies, not nearby. Let's see, okay, so you're going to get uh, new talents, uh, upgrades at level 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, and 20. Uh, you have block. Periodically reduces the damage received from hero basic attacks by 50%. Stores up to two charges. Uh, damage slide. Increases damage of power slide by 30%. Uh, that's kind of nice. It is one of his ta or one of his abilities that he, he starts with, but neither one of these is really all that great. Uh, dance your pants off. Enemy minions hit by face melt also dance for five seconds. That's kind of cool. Five seconds is actually a pretty decent amount of time. Uh, scouting drone. Place a scouting drone at target location, revealing a large area around it for 60 seconds. This drone can be seen and killed by enemies. Uh, not really all that great. I've never really uh, cared for these drones, but you know, it could have a, a purpose later on. Uh, superiority. Reduce damage taken from non-heroic enemies by 50%. I guess if you're going to worry about minions, uh, mercenaries, or uh, maybe even towers, this might be a good thing to have. Pawn Shop Guitar. Guitar solo mana cost is reduced by 50%. Now, as I said before, your guitar solo comes back rather quickly, uh, and it doesn't really give you all that much health. And so reducing the mana cost could be kind of nice to be able to heal yourself as much as you want. Uh, groupies. Guitar Solo also he heals nearby allies for 12 health every second for its duration. Now, I'd actually go with this one when we unlock it to be able to heal the people near me. As I said, it comes back rather quickly. Uh, and you don't really do all that much damage, so being able to heal people who are doing the damage uh, could come in handy. Echo Pedal. After using a basic or heroic ability, pulse twice for 10 damage to nearby enemies. Uh, battle Momentum. Basic attacks reduce ability cooldowns by 0.5 seconds. A lot of characters get this one. Uh, it's okay, uh, but reducing the ability's cooldown 
uh, with your basic hack sounds great, but you're going to burn through your mana a lot quicker uh, simply because you can use your spells or your abilities a lot more. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're a class that has plenty of power, uh, you never seem to be able to run out of it, uh, then this is definitely something you might want to consider. If you're a class that really runs out of power quite a bit, and this is one of them because he's able to use guitar solo quite easily and quite fast, uh, then this is something that's really not going to help you out all that much because uh, your power requirement is going to be the thing slowing you down, not the ability's cooldown rate. Uh, monster Slide. Increase uh, width of Power Slide by 50%. It's kind of nice. It increases the width of one of your abilities. So this is probably what we'll go with to start with, but let's see what these other ones are. Loudspeaker. Increase the range and knockback of Face Melt by 50%. Guitar Hero. After using Guitar Solo, your next basic attack strikes immediately, dealing double damage and heals you for 50% of the damage dealt. Now this is kind of nice. Uh, guitar Solo uh, heals you when you do it, and if you did the points into uh, level 4, it heals everybody around you uh, to a certain point. And then doing an attack right afterwards actually heals you as well, so something to consider if you're getting hurt quite uh, easily and you need more health than what you have this might be something worth putting a points into. Uh, these are your heroic abilities, as I said before, Mosh Pit. Remember to look at the cooldown, 120 seconds. It can make a huge difference. Sometimes some of them are only 60 seconds, some of them are 100. Uh, it may decide to be the factor uh, in whether you go with it or not. After a short delay, channel to stun nearby enemies for 4 seconds. Uh, stage Dive. Cooldown, 100 seconds, so not that much, 120 to 100 seconds, so... Leaps, uh, leaps to any location, deal 100 damage, slow for 3 seconds. Uh, that's kind of nice. It lets you get in or out of combat rather quickly. Hopefully in combat since you're doing 100 damage while you get there. Uber Rockstar, it's a trait. The Rockstar Aura also adds 20% movement speed. Uh, this is also another trait, rocking out. Increase the duration of Rockstar by 2 seconds and minions get the full bonus. Uh, I'd probably actually go with that one. Uh, Relentless. Reduce the duration of Silent, Stun, Slow, Root, and Polymorph against your hero by 50%. I've said this before, any of these spells that deal with the Stun, Silent, Slows uh, really are not that important early on in the game, why people don't have these uh, exotic characters yet. Uh, simply because a lot of characters when you first start off with a lot of cheaper ones don't even have the ability to do any of this stuff. Uh, so really not something you're going to get into until the game's been out for a while. Uh, face Melt. Uh, let's see. Or Face Melt, I should say. Enemies hit by Face Melt are also slowed by 80% for 2 seconds. 80% is quite a big difference, uh, but 2 seconds is really not that long of a time. What it would really come down to is you could slow enemies from running away from you and getting back to their safety of the tower uh, if you use this at the right moment. So it could make quite a big of a difference if you were... Uh, very, uh, you know, quick with this spell, or this talent, I should say. Head crack. Increased stun duration of power slide by 50%. Guitar instrumental. Guitar solo duration is increased by 100%. Uh, this is kind of nice. Uh, if you've put the points into healing people around you, uh, guitar solo duration is increased by 100%. Uh, means you could heal them a lot more and yourself as well, so. Uh, something definitely to look into if, uh, if you want to go down that route. Imposing Presence. Enemies that attack you have their attack speed slowed by 30%. That's kind of nice, just any enemies that attack you uh, will be slowed. Uh, stone Skin. Activate to gain 30% of your max health as shields for 5 seconds. These are kind of nice, it gives you a little button above your uh, talents that you already start with, or the ab abilities that you already start with. The only uh, negative I've seen, and I don't know if they will fix this later on, uh, is that if you use this while you're full health, you will actually lose 30% of your life uh, to a shield, and then when the shield is gone after 5 seconds, you will not gain back that 30%. Uh, it's just gone. So you don't want to use this until you have at least 30% of your life already taken away by either getting hit or whatnot. Uh, that way you don't lose that simply by casting the spell before you go into battle. It's like an extra, because you won't get it that way. Resurgence of the Storm. Upon dying, revive back at your altar after 5 seconds. This can occur once every 120 seconds. This can be a nice thing to have. Uh, if any of you have ever watched some of my other videos, you know that if you die, uh, whether it's in the beginning of the game or towards the end of the game, 
Uh, sometimes it's quite a long time before you can come back, uh, up to a minute I've seen sometimes. Uh, and if you don't die that often, which is what I usually don't do, uh, I usually die maybe one time in the game, that's towards the very end when things get really hectic uh, and we're making a giant push in. Uh, this would come in handy. You could respawn rather quickly and come back and help your team out. Uh, Fury of the Storm. Basic attacks bounce twice to nearby enemies for 50% damage. Let's see. Uh, Death Metal. Makes dancing enemies vulnerable, increasing damage taken by 25%. Now, you had a couple of other talents that you could put points into to make them dance when you did some of your other abilities. Uh, if you did those combined with this, uh, you could really uh, do a little bit more damage uh, than you normally would. Rock God. Reduce the cast and air time of stage dive by 50% and increases the damage dealt by 50%. Now if you don't remember what uh, stage dive is, if you go back to level 10, you will see stage dives right here uh, and mosh pit right here. Now you will always get at level 20 two spells or two talents that will increase or augment uh, these two spells. Now you can't get them uh, if you went down mosh pit route and you only picked that one, uh, you won't be able to obviously upgrade uh, stage dive, it won't be there. Uh, Bolt of the Storm. Activate to teleport to a nearby location. Uh, you know, that could be nice to get out of combat rather quickly, but not something that uh, would really, uh, you know, be worth it compared to the other things that you could put points into. Again, guys, if you like these uh, short little tutorials, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, or as always, hit me up in game. Thanks again for watching.